Hey everybody, this is Ben, uh, Ben Katzenker, rather, back with more Poly Diary. Now, today's issue we're going to be talking about is trans people have a mental illness? Now, it's interesting that you say that, because <laughs> I'm trans, and uh, I, I do have a mental illness, but it's not being trans. <laughs> I have ADD, and I can't stay focused on one thing in particular for too long, and I have a lot of trouble doing that, so... Um, I am trans, and I have a mental illness, but it is not being trans. Being trans itself is not the mental illness, okay? Now, I just want to say, um, <laughs> same people that used to say that, um, looking a certain way would be a mental illness, say, back in the day, or having a certain com complexion? I don't know. I'm trying to word this okay. Um... The same people that would say that are now saying, oh, you know, being trans mental illness, well, it, it's not. Just to respond to a little uh, commenter the other day on the other Poly Diary video. It seems like you trolls just love coming back. By the way, uh, <laughs> the fun fun fact, um, the more views you give me, the more ad revenue I get. So, g good for you for giving me attention. I've got the attention I wanted now. Um... I mean, you just keep giving me attention, which gives me more money. So, I mean, keep keep at it. <laughs> uh, people are so stupid. They don't understand how YouTube ad revenue works. Anyway, um, what else? What, what was I going to cover? <laughs> I just had that, like, awkward, like, moment where I'm just like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. Ocean man taken by the hand. Leave me to the land that you understand. Um, what was I going to talk about, though? God, this this is unprofessional. I'm unprofessional, actually, so hi. <laughs> no, but... Um, trans people don't have mental illness. However, dysphoria can um, cause some suffering, but it, I would not say it's a mental illness, per se. Um... Being trans itself, gender identity is not a mental illness. Exploring oneself is not a mental illness. Um, and realizing that society's box that they try to push you in is not... Like, realizing that that is incorrect is not a mental illness. Being self-aware is not a freaking mental illness. Like, <laughs> how, how many times? How many times do I gotta, like, emphasize that? I don't even need these headphones on, to be honest with you. Um... <laughs> I look, I look prettier like this with my hair down like that. I like that. I like that. I like, I like what's going on there. Um, anyway, let me put this freaking thing in the middle so I stop looking at it. I keep getting distracted by it. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, being trans, not a mental illness. In fact, it just, it's just, you're just aware of the fact that your birth assigned sex is not equal to your gender. Being self-aware is somehow mental illness? What? What? What's wrong with you people? Is this like... Like, is there a society of people that, like, respect, like, flat earthers or something? Is that is that where they come from? Because, I mean, you're denying basic science. Literally, people are born trans. There's, like, genetic evidence. How? how, how? Uh, you deny evolution. You deny climate change. And then you deny that people are born trans. Do you also deny that the Earth is round? Interesting. If you, if you <laughs> if you said yes to that, I think you should click off this video. You've given me my one plus view already. Well, uh, continuing on, <laughs> continuing on. Um, I don't know. I don't know why people think that being trans is a mental illness. I mean, it's it, like, why should we? as trans people have to justify our existence to simpletons who literally deny basic science. Does that make sense to you? That we should have to validate our existence to these simpletons that deny that climate change is real when, it's, when like, signs of it are happening all around, temperatures are rising, other things are going crazy. It, it's, uh... Yeah, it's, it's pretty nuts. Uh... <laughs> And, I mean, they'd all, they also deny that people are born gay, to be fair. And they have those conversion therapy camps, which... What, what do you think? What do you, 
tell me y'all aren't Nazis. When you have conversion therapy camps, tell me y'all aren't Nazis. Mm mm mm. I I see that. I see that. Shame, shame. You know it's funny because uh, the one N word that offends white people is calling them Nazis. It's interesting. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know I'm white. You don't. You don't have to point that out to me. I know this. I'm looking at myself right now, making sure that I'm looking at the camera more. <laughs> uh, yes, this this is a white. This is white skinned vessel holding the soul right now. Yes, I I I'm pretty sure. Um, at least last time I checked. Um, but is that something to take pride in? No, not really. I mean, there's no point. It's silly to do that. Honestly, like like no no white pride no thank you no thank you I'm, I'm gonna be proud for my personality but not for my skin tone i don't need i don't there's no pride in in history and years and years of slavery there's no pride in that there's no pride in that to, to, to just be honest with you there's no pride in that however you could be proud of your accomplishments your personality but certainly that does not need to involve the fact that you're white it really doesn't like in the in the words of Rick Sanchez you're you're all equally pieces of shit and I can prove it, prove it mathematically <laughs> whenever whenever I burp for some reason I could do kind of a Rick Sanchez voice I I don't I don't know why again I I don't know why but it does happen but yeah all these supremacists out there are equally pieces of shit and uh, Rick Sanchez could prove it mathematically anyway. I don't know why I want to talk about this. The fact that we shouldn't have to validate our existence to people that deny basic science. I mean, next thing you know, they're going to, you know, walk off a building and say, gravity is just, gravity is just a social construct. No, no big deal. Boop, you're dead. <laughs> like, seriously. How, how far do some of you people out there deny science? I mean, oh my goodness. It, it like, it makes me tired, kind of. Seeing it every day, seeing all this crap, I'm just like, can we just live? Can we just live equally? Because I want to be genderless, right? No big deal. That's me. Some people want to be male. Some people want to be female. Some people want to be both. Let them be both. Let them be both. My goodness. Is it that hard? Does gender identity exploration offend you that much? You should really, you, you really should think about yourself, how, how sad that is. That gender, ex, that gender exploration offends you. That, that is just, mm-mm-mm, shake my head. Mm-mm-mm. If it offends you that much, then I'm afraid you've got a problem. You're easily offended, Snowflake. You're offended by gender identity and people's exploration of it. And I think you need to take a chill pill. Maybe go to your safe space. I think that I think that would be a good idea for you because you seem so easily offended by people simply exploring themselves and deconstructing social constructs not my social constructs I'm offended how dare you break the social constructs well you know I mean some of those social constructs are oppressive and need to be broken need to be explored need to be deconstructed a little bit in order to further our, our explorations of ourselves and our feelings and if you don't get that, maybe you should start learning. Just a suggestion. Just just throwing it out there in the air. Anyway, that's all I'm going to vlog about this time. I don't even know what I'm going to call this video. It was just me rambling pretty much. But I just wanted to talk about this. <laughs> I just want to talk about this. Anyway, that's all for tonight. I, I think I'm going to head to bed early. I'm kind of burnt out just from this week in general. It's been a little bit crazy. <laughs> it's been a little bit crazy. And uh, a few people know why. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna head to bed. I'm, I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of worn out. Mm. Good night, everybody. And, uh, if you like this video, a like, comment, subscribe, or favorite, or if you, whatever you feel is necessary down below. And I will see all of you lovely beings in universe in whatever vlog next. And I know that was a very ugly face, but I'm a potato, okay? I'm, I'm always having my ugly face. You like my tongue? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>